people here who were engineers in that civilization and are attempting to correct the karma that was done in that lifetime. We've all gone to school on the inner worlds and we all have a new spirit that's driving us to further this golden age. Nikola Tesla physics, like I said, is very much a part of it. Now, in the future, the energy needs are going to be incredible. And it's not too far away. How many, how many years do you think planet Earth can keep going with the amount of pollution we're pouring into the waterways, the ocean, the atmosphere? Maybe 10, maybe 15, who knows? But with the science of high frequency, ultra high frequency oscillation or electricity, based on some of the Tesla patents, we can remove the pollution. First of all, he was able to clear the smoke from a smoke-filled room when he demonstrated the Tesla coil. Anybody ever not seen a Tesla coil demonstrated? <coughs> okay. Well, you're in for a surprise. It makes a little bit of loud noise, but the one in our booth, the Denarius booth, 115, we have a little solid state line that doesn't make any noise. It just puts out a force field. And this is this is the kind of technology that we have to embrace, the, the technology of a force field. Because planet Earth is vibrating a force field, isn't it? All planets, all suns are, are vibrating in different spectra, different dimensions. And this is what we need to do is to is pool our resources, the psychics, the New Age astronomers, the New Age scientists, the New Age thinkers, philosophers, and embrace this understanding about how to tap into the fourth dimension. And when we do, we will have unlimited sources. Keep it on the way we are, that we have reached a, a tipping point on our planet where we have to begin to act responsibly, act intelligently, and recognize that if we are doing things that are not in harmony with the cosmos, we're not only hurting our planet, we're hurting ourselves. Ultimately, what we do to our planet, we are doing to ourselves. And I think everybody here understands that, knows that. And that's part of our mission, is to share that with everyone we come in contact with. So, uh, it just follows along that if you are using atomic power, or hydrogen, to generate power, and you're producing from that fusion or fission process pollutants that, you know, they're fighting on where they're going to store this stuff because it's so deadly. What do they have, a 50,000 year half-life span or something yes. like that? Uh, meaning that 50,000 years from now, it's still deadly. Why are we doing this? It's incredibly unintelligent. Oh. Well, we know, <laughs> just looking around, that it comes down to money. Greed. Greed. That's all it comes down to. So, this process of sharing with you and you sharing with others, this wonderful technology that Tesla brought, and, you know, at the turn of the century, Tesla was saying, you know what, I haven't developed this power tower yet, but if we can utilize this instead of polluting the environment, and we can utilize solar power and wind power until we get my Tesla tower going. He said this in 1900. Because, I, because polluting the environment is dumb, you know, then we'll see a better world. Well, we know what happened. Lack of funds kept it from happening because they couldn't put a meter on the Tesla power tower. So What we're going to do right is we're going to demonstrate um, how the Tesla coil can act as a transmitter and we may have a receiver coil. And then we'll open it up to questions in the last part of the, uh, the lecture. We we'll hope to have a lot of interactive Q&A. That's the best part. But what Nikola Tesla, what, when Nikola Tesla died in 1943, his mission did not end. He, he communicated via mental transmission to the Inarius Foundation to his uh, polarity, Ruth Norman, or we call her by her spiritual name, Uriel. And there were two volumes, more than two volumes, but the two volumes called Tesla Speaks Volume 1 and Volume 2 <coughs> detail what his mission, what this, the future holds for planet Earth. The future of planet Earth is positive because there are so many spiritual agencies and extraterrestrial agencies that are going to help us. Many of them are working telepathically with us. Some of them have landed and have tested our water for pollution and have shown the military that you can't have any control over your missiles. We can deactivate them anytime we want because we're for peace, not for war. That's what they, they want to 
to demonstrate that we can evolve beyond a warlike state of existence. They themselves, an extraterrestrial community, planets and other solar systems, have gone through the same evolution that we are now going through. We are now in a transition stage. We're transferring or transitioning to, like I said, the spiritual renaissance. In 1899, Nikola Tesla traveled to where? Colorado, Colorado Springs. Springs. And proved to the world that you can transmit energy through the ground without wires. He lit up light bulbs 26 miles away. He came back to New York, fired up with a new idea. Look, I could build a power tower, so to speak. Okay, he didn't call it that at first. 187 feet high, and it will be able to pulse energy into the ground, into the earth. And it will uh, be able to, like I said, people will be able to draw that energy to, uh, their, to light their homes and businesses. So, what we're, this Tesla coil is taking the 60 cycle, 110 volts, not yet, not yet. <laughs> and he's stepping it up to about 500,000 cycles per second, RF range, and the voltage is something like 125,000 volts. There we go. Cool. You can see these little lights light up.